Hi, today we're going to talk about attack surfaces and attack vectors, right? So let's start with an analogy here. Okay, so I actually have uh, a house here. And if we look at in terms of, first of all, an attack vector, right? What is that? Okay, so we have our attackers on the outside, our threats, okay? And what they're trying to do here is they're trying to break into the house. So an attack vector here would be, uh, for example, the window or the door. So basically a means of gaining unauthorized access into our house. And that's essentially what an attack vector is, right? So uh, if we map this to, say, for example, software, you know, there may be a flaw, there may be a vulnerability inside there by means that it could be considered an attack vector for which a uh, an attacker can gain access, right? Um, so the attack vectors, um, you know, we have different ways to mitigate those, but if we look in terms of what the attack surface is, right? So the attack surface is the combination um, of the attack vectors, right? So in this house, the attack surface is the actual house, right? So if we look at the windows, we look at the doors in the backyard, the front yard, um, etc. all those combinations presents an attack surface right so it's the holist holistic view of what the attacker is attacking so an example here an attack surface could be all the ports that are open on a server right so the attack service would be the server and the attack vectors could be the for example specific ports uh, that incoming connections are allowed on um, and that summarizes the difference between attack surface and attack vector thank you